Yo, y'all, I, I know it may be wrong to say, but I really do love Trump. I really do. Like, I'm serious. Like, I love him, and it's really strange, because maybe I shouldn't. But after this, uh, so y'all, after this rally, y'all can barely see me, and I'm so sorry. But um, after this rally, I really, really feel like we see the different spirit that they have um, with Trump's campaign. Everything, they seem so genuine. It's almost like God has blessed their campaign. But when you look at Kamala's, uh, when you when you look at Kamala's rally, it's very wicked. The spirit is totally different. The spirit is off. It is just very strange. And it's like when you're watching uh, Trump, when you're looking at the Trump rally tonight, everything was so gentle. It was just very, I mean, he was very stern, but it was, like God just put a blessing up on that thing. And I'm telling y'all right now, that's, we can see that, we can feel it. See, even though Kamala comes out and she's like, oh, well, she has all these people support her, support her. Y'all need to fight for freedom and all of that other stuff. It doesn't seem genuine because they're lying. They're not being honest. They're not being authentic. And we can feel that. It's almost like if you look at the old cartoons and see how beautiful and comforting it is compared to the yeah, newer cartoons, I, I if they remake it. There's something very distorted about it that feels uncomfortable and it doesn't feel homey. It doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel authentic to your soul. And I noticed that with um, the rally tonight, for Trump, it was, it was beautiful. Even the music he walked out to, it was so classy. It was so powerful. Guys, y'all know how to vote, but I just had to come out and say, I love Trump. I don't know him. Everybody's like, well, you ain't got to love the man, and I don't have to love him, but I'm just telling y'all I love Trump. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he can't do no wrong. He's still a man, but I love Trump, and I love what they all stand for. Every You couldn't even debate anything that they said because everything they said is something you should be for. You should be for everything that they're discussing, everything that they're saying that they want to do for this country. And y'all know Trump going to do it. Y'all know he, look, he's going to do those things. People know. They know. And it, it, it got to be something that's in your spirit that's forcing you to support, donate to, and give your money to Kamala Harris and then give your vote to her. It's got to be something that you pushing yourself through because we all know and you can see it. You know, we don't even have to go into policy because we know that Trump absolutely destroyed her. We don't have to go into history because we know that Trump's presidency obviously was the best thing that happened in our lifetime uh, versus what we've experienced over the last three and a half years. We don't have to go into immigration because we already see exactly what Trump did versus what Biden and, and Kamala Harris did. We don't have to go into what, you know, they're proposing to do because Democrats, they're they spending the majority of their time on reproductive rights, which is getting rid of unwanted pregnancies versus Trump saying that it has to go back to the state. Even though he don't agree with it, he still res respects, uh, you know, the fact that we're a republic and we have to be able to vote and we can, you know, go through and determine what's going to happen on the state's level. He wants less government. We already know bloated spending, parties of war, all of that. If we just remove all of the evidence of yesteryear and being able to look in hindsight, and then also in addition to that, paying attention to what's happened on the political spectrum as far as policy is concerned, and you just pay attention to the spirits, the vibes, the energy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of my, my ladies out here and, and these earthy chicks that's with their chakras and all of that, I don't know nothing about it, but I'm just going to assume that your energy, you can feel the energy of a person when you interact with them. It's almost like, you know, when you're kicking it with a person in person, and that's why it's the difference between having conversations online versus being in person. You can tell whether or not they're for the streets. You can tell whether or not they got good energy. You can tell whether or not they, you, you can kind of pay attention to it. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what she's explaining here in this video is that when you pay attention to her rallies and then, you listen to the things that they saying, like Tim Walls, and and you go back and you replay it, or you just look at the type of people that she recruit to her rallies to stand for, the Beyonce's, the Meg Thee Stallions, the Ushers. You know what I'm saying? You look at these people and you be thinking of yourself, the Tyler Perry's, and it's like it's a ugh, spirit. It's a this ain't right. You know, you go into a place and you see certain things and you see certain people or whatever, and you like, hmm. What they really up to? What they got behind their back? What they really doing? What, what am I? I don't even feel right being here. You got to force yourself to be here. 
That's what the two campaigns feel like. That's what the two rallies feel like. Me personally, I experienced going through uh, going to a very intimate Trump uh, event, and it was less than 50 people there. And I got an opportunity to hear him speak at length, and he expressed his thoughts, and I seen the energy around him, and it was electric. It was electric. The fact that he sold out Madison Square Garden was electric. Now, what they'll try to do is they'll pick and part little pieces and say, oh, this comedian, he was he told a racist joke. First of all, if you go and you look at that comedian, you look at his history, comedians always live on the edge and they talk about everybody. So now everybody getting, you know, everybody is getting all up in arms about it. Listen, y'all call y'all own grandma some of the worst things I ever heard in my life. But they're looking for an excuse to walk away from it. And that's cool because those type of people was never voting for Trump in the first place. But my point is, is that you have to you have to push yourself to support this woman, even if you are historically a Democrat. Because remember, nobody after her. She was considered the worst vice president of all time prior to getting a promotion for some of the things that she did wrong. They saying that they had a 92, 92 percent turnover rate inside of the White House. Nine, two, turnover rate, White House, crazy, absolutely crazy. And we're considering this person to be a leader of the free world. Now, I'm assuming that they just got, the Democratic Party got to have some safeguards in place. I think that we basically voting for Obama's fourth term. I think that's what we're doing. We voting for, for Michelle Obama's fourth term. We have to be, because if you don't have safeguards in place, and if Nancy Pelosi can come over there and kick Biden's butt and get him out the race, and Kamala Harris is saying that she don't even <laughs> have a farewell party for Biden. Biden don't even like Kamala Harris. It's recently come out that Kamala Harris don't even want Biden on the campaign trail with her. She has completely distanced herself from him. And I remember back in 2021 when I was reporting on it on the Millionaire Morning Show and it was saying that Kamala Harris was hard to work with and her, her staff didn't like her and the Biden administration was having problems with her and so on and so forth. And so when I see what's happening today and people are rallying behind her, her message, I seen her on Shannon Sharp. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm not I'm not impressed. I've never been impressed. You're not going to convince me that makes sense. We got it right when we voted Trump instead of Hillary Clinton in 2016. And very rare do I sit here and say, man, we picked the right candidate. We got it right all of those times. Got it wrong with Bush the second. Uh, Clinton absolutely sold this country out, and, and now you don't see no manufacturing here. We got it wrong with Biden. We got it right with Trump. Very rarely do we get it all the way right, and we can look back and say, man, why didn't we vote that guy back in again in 2020. Now look at our lives. A lot of people is getting kicked out of their house. Hey, listen, I seen a woman today. It's a crazy. <laughs> I seen a woman today, and she said that she had just recently got her car repoed and a whole nother thing. But then she had a whole nother video talking about how she stands for Kamala Harris and all of this. Fam, how you gonna get your car repossessed? within the last year and a half, but then you sitting here in a completely different video talking about you voting for Kamala Harris. If that's not the most horrible representation of a Kamala Harris voter, of a Democratic voter, and at some point we got to wake the hell up. We have to wake the hell up and we got to realize, um, you know, that, that we for a long time have been voting against our own best interests. And the energy is electric. I think that Trump is going to get 100 million votes easily. What's most concerning is that there is still tens of millions of people that's going to vote for Kamala Harris, not because she's great, but just because either they A, voting against Trump, or B, they've always voted Democrat. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Also, teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. Join the Patreon, and then get your tickets to come and get kick it with me in person. All of that information, including the discount code, is in the description. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you. I'm always going to link back to the content creator. So I like to give them credit. That link will be down in the description. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.